my god, Artyom! Thank goodness you're okay! <sighs> now we are not just traitors. We are honest-to-god enemy saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, we'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow, like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? 
There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. Wait a moment. What was that? Listen, everyone. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18111 79. Right. Area 18-5. Where was that number supposed to be? Proceed to the rally point. Rally point Got location it. is code So it is somewhere around here. The Yamantown Mountain. So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. 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 Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, that thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? Huh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Report to the bridge on the double. 
Are you alright, Tatyom? Yeah. The beast is surrender! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Oh, shit! <sighs> Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with our team, too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but... Let's go, Artyom. Please. I see. Get to it, then. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. What was that? Could you check it out? around while you're inside that electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position let's go A boat! You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Mm -hmm.
church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? Be upon ye, traveler! Our father, Celantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons sheathed. here either. Silantius oh, locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. We've been thinking about escape for a long time. Even got a boat. But we didn't have anywhere to go until you showed up. Oh, and get Uncle Chris from the fort. He is so good. He can fix anything. Artyom, I'll meet up with them.
Security's here! There is a dog up there! I got the heretic friend! My luck was rocky. The fish didn't protect me, though I'm still alive. I give up. I have no choice but to rely on your mercy, even though you are a heretic. <laughs> They say you worship the devil. Is that true? Will you teach me? I'd make a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come on, teach me.
shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And holy shit, you did not disappoint. Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one tra trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a boat with a dumb spyglass. Here though, we do have a chance to find some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. <laughs> From the You're alive. Of occupation. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Thank Katya. Thank you for the Dad information, now. Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... 
So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything <laughs> once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. Damn. What do I even do about this? Hi, Artyom.
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blitz. Those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers have never have a chance against them. You? You just cut through them, Blitz. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. Yeah. And me, huh? Your arrival. How glad they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too. <laughs> now, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. You have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast, well, that's another story.
She was going to check out those antennas on 200 meters from the Aurora. She said she saw something there.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
long on. <sighs> God damn it. We have to tell the others that we found her. Don't tell Dad. He's gonna. <coughs> it's good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Oh, One day I will have a heart attack because of you. <laughs> you are getting detention once you are back, young lady. Sam, <laughs> is that you? Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well, maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit bugging Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Whoa! Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <gasps> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? 
Of course we will. Don't you worry. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So... Disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sitan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move you into the storehold. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nasya will be so grateful. Here, Antio. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyom. It's no two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look... If you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity. So, you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway... If you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see.
Great job persuading the old man. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I... don't even mention it.
Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of this scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. <laughs> but no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
Can you hear me? 
Yeah. <laughs> 